Hello friends, today I shall tell you the difference between apparent specific gravity and bulk specific gravity or apparent density and bulk density of an aggregate and these densities are required in the design of hot mix asphalt. Whenever you do Marshall method mix design, then you need to know the density of the aggregate and the bitmus mixture. By definition, a specific gravity is weight in air divided by equal volume of water. And because it is not possible to determine the volume of aggregate by measurement and therefore we use Archimedes principle that you take weight of the aggregate in air which is oven dried aggregate and then take weight of the aggregate in the water. So the volume of water displaced by the aggregate is the volume of aggregate. In simple terms, the specific gravity or the density is weight divided by volume. So, its unit kg per meter cube or gram per centimeter cube. Now, depending upon which volume of aggregate is considered, there are three types of specific gravities. One is apparent specific gravity, then bulk specific gravity and effective specific gravity. Today we shall discuss the difference between these three. Let us say you have the total volume of solid. Now aggregate mass will have three components. One is Vs that is volume of solid and then above that you have the wires. Now this is let us say VPP. Now if you take an aggregate that is the shape of aggregate each aggregate particle will have wires and surface wires and this will be like this and there will be some internal wires also. Water will percolate whenever you submerge this aggregate into water, the water will percolate into the full depth of the wires or pores, pores in the aggregate. But bitumen, when you soak these aggregates into bitumen or when you coat aggregate with bitumen, bitumen will be approaching only up to this part. Now, this total wires is VPP. A part of it will absorb the asphalt, let us say VAP and remaining will be only, now this is the portion of the wires which is covered by the water and this is the portion where the bitumen is absorbed. So these two are different types of aggregate on the surface of each aggregate particle. Now this is VPP minus VAP. There are some internal wires also, but they are not absorbing the water or they are not absorbing the asphalt. So they become part of the solid. But when you break this aggregate particle into small pieces, then some of these internal wires can also be exposed. And that, that will change the wires which are absorbing the or the pores which are absorbing the water and pores which are absorbing the asphalt. Apparent specific gravity is simply weight of the aggregate divided by volume. Volume of aggregate. It does not consider any wires of this type. You take oven dried aggregate, take weight in the air and take weight of the aggregate in the water that is your apparent specific gravity. But when you consider these total wires, wires absorbing the water, then in that case this is bulk specific gravity. So bulk specific gravity is Ws upon Vs plus Vpp total pores 
Now you can multiply it by the density of water or you can skip it because density of water is taken as 1 and therefore that is bulk specific gravity. When you consider the total volume, volume of solids plus volume of wires. Now these are the pores on the surface of the aggregate and the effective specific gravity is which consider this part also. So it will be Ws upon Vs plus Vpp minus Vap. So it considers only the, it does not consider the wires or pores which will absorb the asphalt or which are filled by the asphalt. Now this is effective specific gravity. So that is G S A apparent, this is G S B bulk and this is G S E. This comes only when you are preparing Marshall specimen, when you are adding bitumen to the aggregate, then this comes into picture. If you have aggregate mass only, then you can, it can be apparent or bulk specific gravity. Now in these three equations, you can see that this V S. Vs is the minimum. Okay. So, this apparent specific gravity is the highest one. So, the, the Gsa is larger than or equal to Gse which is larger than or equal to Gsb. That is the correlation and the difference will depend upon the water absorption of the aggregates. And these three will be equal if the water absorption of the aggregate is zero. Because if there is no pore on the surface, there will be no absorbent of the bitumen also. So in that case, all three will be equal. Let us take one example that the apparent specific gravity GSA of aggregate is 2.750. Water absorption of aggregate is 2%. What is the bulk specific gravity? By definition, GSA is weight upon volume. So, if let us assume this to be 100, then volume will be 100 upon GSA and GSA is given as 2.750 and this is 36.5. 364 ml. We can say cubic centimeter. 2 percent total wires in the aggregate. Total wires that is VPP. So, GSB now will be 100 upon 36.364 plus 2. That is 2.607. Now, how do we determine the apparent specific gravity or bulk specific gravity of aggregate mass? For coarse aggregate and you, you must be knowing that coarse aggregate is the aggregate pass aggregate retained on 2.36 millimeter C as per Indian, Indian specification and 4.75 millimeter C as per ASTO. ASTO T85 ASTO T85 gives a procedure of finding the bulk specific gravity of aggregate and the, the method is simple that you take oven dried aggregate, let us say 2 kg oven dried aggregate, so take weight in the air, submerge these aggregates in water for 24 hours and after 24 hours just place the aggregate on a plain surface, wipe the surface moisture from a cotton cloth and when the, the aggregate becomes saturated surface dry then take weight of these aggregates in air and in water. Then GSB is calculated by this equation A upon B minus C where A is the weight oven dried 
aggregate. B is the weight of saturated surface dry aggregate in air. And this is the weight of saturated surface dry aggregate in water. So here you are considering the entire VPP. Wires of pore absorbing the moisture, the water. That is specific gravity of coarse aggregate. In the case of fine aggregate, you can use picrometer. As to T84 gives procedure of determining bulk specific gravity of fine aggregate. Fine aggregate is the percent passing 2.6 millimeter and retained on 75 micron C. And it says that you can use the pycnometer to find the bulk specific gravity of fine aggregate. It also suggests that you can use 6 percent moisture. So, you take the fine aggregate, a sample of fine aggregate, oven dried sample of fine aggregate and add 6 percent water into the fine aggregate. Then spread it on a flat surface and expose it to warm air until a saturated surface dry condition is obtained. And after that you take the weight in the air and weight in the water and that you can use pycnometer here also and that will give you the specific gravity or bulk specific gravity of fine aggregate by this equation. A upon B plus S minus C. Now here you have additional parameter S. Now A is the again weight of oven right fine aggregate. B, B is the weight of pycnometer plus water. S is the weight of SSD, saturated surface dry fine aggregate in air. C is the weight of pycnometer plus fine aggregate plus water. So that is how you can calculate the specific gravity, bulk specific gravity of fine aggregate also. Now determination of bulk specific gravity of filler is difficult, but here you can use apparent specific gravity for two reasons. Number one, the amount of filler in a bitmas mix is very small and number two, there is a very small variation between the apparent specific gravity and bulk specific gravity. So, as to suggest that in case of filler, apparent specific gravity can be used, which is easy to determine. In practice, we mix different types of aggregates, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, filler and then bitumen. And then you find out what is the specific gravity of or bulk specific gravity of combined mixture of coarse aggregate. In that case, GSB is calculated like this P1 plus P2 plus P3 divided by P1 upon G1 plus P2 upon G2 plus P3 upon G3. P1, P2, P3 are proportion of aggregate, let us say coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and filler and G1, G2, G3 are their respective specific gravity. That is the harmonic mean of specific gravities you can find out. That is the bulk specific gravity of the mass. So, let us say you are combining coarse aggregate and fine aggregate in the ratio of 60 and 40 percent and the specific gravity, bulk specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.716 and for fine aggregate 2.689. And in that case, the bulk specific gravity of total mixture will be 40 plus 60, that is 100 divided by 60 upon P1, G1, 2.716 plus P2, 40 upon G2, 2.689 and this is 2.700. That is how we can find out the bulk specific gravity of the mixture, mixture of fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. If you have stockpiles and you have different 
specific gravity for different stockpiles. You can say P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 plus P5 and so on. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can write.